guys, what's up? It's me again, Unstoppable HD here, bringing y'all another video, guys. In today's video, I'm bringing y'all another Modern Warfare 2 split comp. All right, guys, this is my first game back on for today. All right, guys, sorry if I'm a little bit lazy right now. I literally just ate a whole entire pizza, a pizza, a large one at that. I ate some chicken wings. I ate five popsicles, I believe, and I watched two whole movies. Originally, I was supposed to go downstairs and just eat, you know, one or two and then uh, pizza slices and then I was going to finish my video because I was already recording a video and the, actually the pizza came in the middle of me recording and I was like, you know what, I'm almost on the video, I just need to say something real quickly and then I'll finish it. I decided to end the recording and I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm going to go eat. And then I was like, you know what, I'm going to watch a movie while I'm eating, I ate for like 10 minutes. Ended up being like, you know what, let me rest for a bit and then I'll start going upstairs to record. That turned into me finishing that movie and then I saw another movie. And then it turned into me getting even more hungry again, so I ate some more uh, stuff, which turned out to be the popsicles. That turned into me looking at Netflix and finding this movie called The Expendables. I've never seen The Expendables. So I watched the whole movie right now, and I gotta say, I really, really liked it. Now keep in mind, I usually do not watch TV. I've never watched TV, really. And the reason for that being is I have Xbox, I make videos, I have school. I've always focused on things like that rather than TV, so I've never actually watched TV. So for me to be able to sit down right there and watch a movie was actually really nice. But anyway, I can go into all that into another video. For today's video, I want to talk about the intro that I had. So, as you saw from the intro, I did get a quad feed, and I actually got that yesterday. And if you follow me on Twitter, which you should, by the way, if you don't, you know, it's in the description below. Make sure to go hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to go do that, because I actually did the fast thing from Rap God. It's pretty sick. I'm actually going to make that a separate video for the during the week so of school. So, if you want to see a little sneak preview of it, you know, go on Instagram and follow me and uh, check it out. But yeah, if you don't know what Rap God is, it's the song that basically is with Eminem and it has some Lama Dumu Lama, you know, all that good stuff right there. And I do it really, really fast. Like, I, well, not really, really fast, but I've done it extremely fast, as fast as he's actually done it. Now, the one I uploaded on Instagram was a little bit slower only because due to the fact that when I actually did it super fast, I said the F word. So what I'm going to do is when I upload it to my channel, I'm going to make it the faster one. However, I'm going to actually edit out the F word. That way y'all can't hear it because I don't like to promote cussing. I don't think cussing is a p good thing to do. Now, when I say that, I don't mean like, oh, you're not supposed to cuss because you're a kid. No, I say that because it doesn't, it doesn't sound professional. Like whenever you're uploading, you know, yourself cussing to YouTube or um, unless you're like, you know, trying to explain a story or something. I'm cool with that. But whenever you're doing something like that, I just don't really care to do it. That's my personal opinion, obviously. So I'm not saying that. You know, my opinion is the right opinion. No, it's just what I believe in for me personally. Now, I don't care if other people do it. It's just me. I care if I do it. Cause, you know, yeah. Oh, what if I hit that right there, guys? That would have been so sick. I don't think I've ever seen a shot actually hit on that little thing right there. So that'd be pretty cool if I actually hit that. Wow, this video is all over the place. I'm sorry, guys. Like I said, I just ate and stuff like that. And I haven't made an actual split com, let alone a video in a long time. Because if you don't know this already, because I think I actually already said it. And that is that all my videos I've been uploading for the past week or so have actually all been pre-recorded. I grinded out videos for a whole day because I was actually supposed to go do something for a week. And it was the second week of school. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to be too busy to do this. So I had them all pre-recorded. I just edited them up and I would upload them and they were all Minecraft videos so they were super easy to edit. I didn't have to do any splitting or nothing like that. So yeah, that's why I might sound a little bit rusty so I'm sorry about that. But anyway, finally getting to the actual point I was trying to get to right now and that is the intro. So in the intro of this video, I had a quad feed from Modern Warfare 2. Now most of y'all are like, that's nothing dude. I mean people hit those all the time. Now yeah, that was, well that's nothing. I'll explain why I put it like that. First off, it was freaking cool. I went like this. Boom. Boom, 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 in a row. Like, that's freaking sick. I just thought that was so awesome. And this, the cool part about this is they actually recorded. As y'all know, I've hit in, I've hit eight on screens, ten on screens, all these things, quads, you know, all this stuff, you name it, epic gameplays, all this good stuff. And my Elgato always, like, just ends up not working in the end. Well, this time, it actually recorded it. And I was freaking out. I was so happy. It was the best thing ever. Another thing that's cool about this. That's not the only quad I got yesterday. I've actually gotten 13 quads. I can actually make a freaking quad montage. With MW2 clips. If you actually want to see that. And in fact I don't even have to edit it. I could just show you them in a row. I literally got over 5 or 3 quad, Not 5. Like 2 quads. Maybe 3 quads a game in free for all. And I won 12 games in a row. I could have kept going, but I did have to stop because some guy challenged me to a 1v1. 
And funny thing is, after the 1v1 ended, this is what he told me. So hopefully y'all saw what I did. Yes, I did roast the guy. Well, I didn't roast him, but I got really pissed off now. Obviously, my grammar wasn't the best. I was on the Xbox and I was typing extreme. I mean, I was on my phone and I was typing extremely fast as I was heated. Like, he was pissing me off. And then he was acting all calm as if I was like, he was like, dude, it's all right. I don't care that you hacked. But I wasn't hacking. That's the thing. And I even had the thing recorded if you want to see it. He got mad because I no scoped him like that across the map. And I don't know how I did it to be quite honest. I just went like this. Like that, and I kind of did like a Grizz jump, and I just hit him, and he was like, you're a hacker. And I missed like eight shots on him on other no scopes. Like, I don't understand why he would, it just, it got really annoying. What kind of gamer tag is this? Jew Balls 72 Just imagine going to school and your friend asks you, hey man, what's your gamer tag at school? Like, he goes, Jew Balls 72 Like, what the fudge, dude? Your friends would be like, what? What, imagine your friend's Jewish and you're all talking about the Holocaust and hi history class when he tells you this. Just imagine that. That's freaking messed up, dude. Now, I mean, obviously my gaming tech's not the best either, but it's not freaking Jew balls. Okay, I'm just gonna go straight to the point. Here's the actual clip of the whole entire clip I hit. So yeah, as you can see, it would have been a 5 on, however, that guy had painkiller, then I got flashed, and yeah, dude. But anyway, I literally played for 12 games in a row, and I hit a trick shot every game, except for that game. That game, I just went for trying to get a feed for last kill, but it's whatever. But yeah, I was hitting stupid trick shots just to see what people would do, and actually, people were like, oh, that's sick, dude, you hit it! And I was like, seriously, man, I 360 would off a freaking thing and just shot you, like... What the hell? Now, one of them was cool. It was on Scrapyard. I jumped off the little top piece of the Scrapyard, whatever area. The plane, there we go. And I no-scoped a guy across the map through the window. It was a 360, but it was still freaking cool because it was through the window. Like, I don't know how I did it. But anyway, I hit a bunch of clips yesterday and stuff like that. I know those commentaries all over the place, and it could be way, way, way better. And I'm very, very, very sorry about that, guys. You know, I'm doing my best here once again. But yeah, I haven't played this game in so long that look at my classes. Okay, I've every single game I play, I always have them say this, but look, it still says 1 mil subs and 250,000 kills with the Ballista. He said like 920,000 kills, like, I don't know, a couple, a while back. And he's already at 2 million subscribers. Like, I need to change this crap. Alright guys, moment of truth right here, ready? My shots are freaking dead on, come on. I literally just trickshotted right now and shot in every single direction possible so I could see if I could hit somebody and no. So getting to the point that I have here, the other point I guess, is I actually hit all those clips after I, you know, got done working out for two hours. I was working on biceps for two freaking hours. My biceps weren't hurting. And for all you people who are, who are fitness gurus out there, don't criticize me because I don't, you know, I'm still kind of new to this stuff. You know, I really am not that, you know, fitness savvy if that makes any sense anymore, so... 
Yeah, bear with me here. Um, I actually learned this after I worked on biceps. So I was stressing out my biceps hardcore. I was doing, you know, bicep curls and all that crazy stuff and whatnot. And after I did that, I was like, man, my my arms, you know, they hurting. I was like, and I failed it. I was like, man, my arms must be, you know, a lot better now. Because after two hours, like, you know, they obviously have to be a little bit grown or a little bit stressed or something like that. You know, you could tell that they have something done. But but now that I look at it, my arms actually look smaller than what they were before I started doing that. Like, my arms used to be, like, defined, I guess you could say. Now, after, obviously, as my mom was like, I want to know a way to make my arms more defined, Aaron. I was like, well, let me look it up and stuff. And I was watching more of all these things, and some people were saying, the certain exercises, there's no actual way to define your arms. There's ways to make them bigger, and by making them bigger or working on specific things like the peak of your bicep or, like, the brachiate, the brachiolus, or the brax, your brax, you know. That makes up the huge part of the bicep. And all this, I mean, not, it's not even a part of your bicep. You, that makes your whole arm look bigger. Your triceps, you know, your shoulders, all this good stuff, you know. And I was like, wow, I did not know any of this. So anyway, if you know about this guy called Six Pack Shortcuts, you know, he basically explained how bicep curls and all this stuff basically don't work on your biceps. They just activate the muscle fibers in there. And then you're supposed to do like, uh, I forgot what they're called. It's basically with the bar and you just lift the bar up with heavy, heavy weight because you're activating the muscle fibers with those curls and then you're picking up heavy weight and you're making them bigger. And I was like, oh, and then he goes, now, if you just do nothing but bicep curls, you're basically just making them smaller in the end because all you're doing is activating fibers, you're not actually growing them. And by doing that, he's, he's telling all this stuff, and I was like, that explains a lot. So my arms actually look a lot smaller now, in my opinion, and they're not as big as what they used to be. And I was like, huh, I did not, you know, all this interesting stuff. I'm not going to go into detail on it. I actually was studying it for about three hours after I worked out and stuff like that. And yeah, it was pretty crazy. But anyway, guys, the same time here because I'm already at 20 minutes in recording and I still have to go work out, go to my sister's um, classes and stuff like this and then do all this crazy stuff. So, yeah, I'm not going to have time to do anything really after this, so I can't record for any longer. So, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe, guys. I should the video with your friends, your grandma, or your mother this time. Make sure to share them with them. If they're unhealthy, you know what to do. If they're healthy, make sure to give them some healthy stuff and sit them down and let them watch my video. And as always, guys, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys. I said it well, I played the game and I'm still the same and I never changed just to get a deal but I'm